Wow. What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you guys another review. Today's review is for a new horror movie by A24 and that movie is Hereditary. Directed by a new director, Ari Aster. This is his directorial debut and it stars Tony Collette. And this is a drama slash horror film about this burden family. Tony Collette is the mother. Her mother just recently died and there is a funeral going on. Throughout the whole movie there's some other things that happen which I won't spoil for you guys but the whole movie is about Tony Collette's character really going through a lot of dramatic things. She's lost a lot in her life, her loved ones, and this movie just gets beyond crazy. That is all I'm going to say about Hereditary. Go into this film knowing nothing. That is exactly how I went into it. Everybody says this is the scariest movie they've seen in years. This is the exorcist of the 21st century. And I think that's a little overhyped praise. So I went into this movie with an open mind. I didn't want to go in thinking this is going to be a horror classic. See if it was as scary as everyone was making it out to be. And uh, yeah, believe the hype guys. This is a fantastic horror movie. But is it the scariest movie ever made? Uh, no. It didn't give me nightmares. It's not going to make me sleep for days. I'm, I slept just fine just watching this movie. It was a very creepy, well-directed, well-acted horror film. And this is easily in my top five of the year so far. Ari Aster, you nailed it with this film. Let's talk about Alex Wolf. He's been in a couple movies recently, like Patriot's Day, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, and he's a pretty underrated actor. He's in the Naked Brothers Band, that Nickelodeon show. He was great in this movie. I believed his character. He was really good, gave some really intense scenes, like a scene you saw in the trailer with him in a desk. That creeped me out. But I think Millie Shaparo as the young daughter was absolutely terrific. She looks really creepy and she gave a phenomenal performance with not a lot of dialogue given to her. But you could totally see the raw emotion her character's feeling as well as depression she's feeling. The standout in this movie was Toni Collette as the mother. She absolutely was phenomenal in this movie. She deserves an Oscar nomination. As of to date, I don't care that it's June. When Oscar season rolls around, the Academy needs to seriously look at Toni Collette. She gave a phenomenal performance. She was terrifying. You could totally see the pain she was going through throughout the film. And in Toni Collette's performance, she was great. She was in the sixth sense, so she's had that experience with horror thrillers. And here, she just blew me out of the water. This movie is suspenseful from start to finish. The score is really creepy. The cinematography was absolutely fantastic. The opening scene to this movie, the way it was shot, you see this little figurine house that that Tony Collette's character makes, figurine house. It's a fantastic shot. This is the most unsettling horror film I've seen in years. A Quiet Place was like that also. That was another very good scary horror film from John Krasinski, but this movie was unsettling from start to finish. There is not one moment you can breathe. Every scene you cannot miss. Do not go to the bathroom because you're going to miss something important with the plot and just the scary elements. And the last 10 minutes of this movie scared the shit out of me. It's fantastic. Something that I liked about Toni Collette's character, she makes these figurines. She's making figurines out of stuff that has happened to her recently. And I like the way the cinematography looked. It makes it look like the actual scene in the movie. It shows the, the house, the claymation house, and then it goes right to the real scene. That's how creative the cinematography was in the film. This movie will make you think. Definitely watch it multiple times because you're not going to fully understand it at first, but if you rewatch it a lot of times, you'll fully get it and appreciate it a lot more. And the last positive goes to the director, Ari Aster. What a directorial debut from him. He was terrific direction. This movie was intense, like a 10 Cloverfield Lane type of directorial debut. Jordan Peele as well. Ari Aster, I really hope he gets more work after this because he deserves it. He made an incredible film. I think it's one of A24's 
longest films, two hours and seven minutes. That It didn't bother me, but I think it was a little too long. I think you could have cut this film down to a little under two hours because there's some slow scenes full of exposition that didn't really need to happen. Some certain scenes, I won't spoil it for you guys, but it kind of dragged down the movie. Hereditary blew me away. Believe the hype, guys. This is one of the best horror movies of the year, either this or A Quiet Place. This is my favorite horror movie of the year. It was fantastic. Great performances. Great suspenseful scenes. Definitely one of the classic horror films in A24. Knocked it out of the park with this one. On my rating scale, I'm going to give Hereditary, of course, 5 out of 5 stars. This is the movie worth seeing this weekend. So there you have it, guys. That was my review for Hereditary. Have you seen it yet? What did you think of it? Did you love it, think it was okay, or did you absolutely hate it? Let me know down below. Thank you guys, as always, for watching this review, and if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. Click that notification bell on your way out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!